Well, hey there, welcome back. Today, I wanna make a little video that's gonna help you guys when you're stuck here at home, you don't really know what to do. We're kinda of making that approach to spring where we're gonna be able to start fishing, but for the last four or five months, it's been snowy, it's been cold, and the lakes have been frozen. So today I'm gonna to show you guys three simple ways that you can prep for the coming fishing season. These are three things that I feel like everybody should do. I need to do them more myself. I do try to do them at some point during the year, but uh, right now is literally the prime time that you can do them. So this might be self-explanatory to some of you guys, but for some of you younger anglers, you may have never thought to do this and it's going to change the way that you fish. So as you guys can see, I have one of my setups here, right? So this first thing I'm gonna show you guys is something that a lot of people probably overlook, don't care to do or take the time to do. And uh, it actually makes a massive difference when it comes to the functionality of your reels. If you guys can see right here, I really don't know if you can, but there's like dust all over my reel. And like this rod has not been sitting for a super long time. I literally used it over the summertime, but just from it sitting on my rod racks in my house, it collected a lot of dust. And with dust and dirt and grime and stuff getting inside your reels, it can really cause problems later on in the season. So you guys wanna pull off these spools and essentially just take these reels apart and make sure you guys get the gears in here all lubed up. Make sure you get the gears inside the reel itself. So if you guys know, all your reels will come off and they'll come apart like so. And what I like to do is just make sure I get my reels all greased up and uh, my spools and everything so that my rod 100% functions and it doesn't get full of dirt, grime, dust, things like that. So I'll show up some products right here. Go ahead, grab some of these products and you know apply them to your reels before you start fishing this season and your reel is gonna feel good as new. The second thing that I want you guys to do to help yourself prepare for the upcoming season is to take all the rods that you haven't used in a long time, again, like they've been sitting, for the last couple of months during the winter time and things like that is to completely restring all your rods. Rip out that old floral carbon that's just been sitting there coiled up. I mean, you guys can see, you probably can't necessarily see, but it gets just old, it gets frayed, it gets coiled and you know what? You never want old line. Nothing's worse than losing a fish because you totally just didn't restring your rods and you're waiting for it to run out of line. So go to the store, pick yourself up a big spool and get some new line in your bait casters, your spinning reels and uh, just get that done. That's made such a big difference for me as far as the season starting. Nothing's worse than, you know, just breaking off a fish in the springtime because you didn't go the extra step to just put new line in all those reels. And then last but not least, Get your guys' tackle under control, get it organized. You know when you fish all summer long, you're constantly using terminal tackle or you're taking lures and just throwing them in random boxes and things like that. So one thing that I always do this time of year is get like my terminal tackle. I'll open it up and show you guys like a quick example. Like it's pretty empty. Like I have like one five out worm hook left, one three out, you know, flipping hook. I have a random like hook with bait on it still, like carp bait. I have hardly any bullet weights left. I have just a lot of things that I need restocking of. I have no shaky heads, etc. I have just a ton of things that need to be replenished, that need to be restocked. So this is the perfect time where I can sit inside, go through everything, make sure I have all the right size hooks, all the right size sinkers, things like that. And then on top of that, I can go in like my crankbait box and wonder, you know, why the heck I have a Cinco in my crankbait box, you know? So get that all figured out, get that all sorted and make sure you're organized. That way, when we're finally let out to go do what we need to do and go fishing on the weekend, you guys will have everything ready for you. You'll have fresh line in your rods, you'll have a fresh greased up rod and reel and uh, you'll have your baits exactly where you need them to be. So I hope that helps you out guys. I know a lot of people just overlook that stuff and I know it may seem obvious, but doing those little things will help your gear last a lot longer and it's gonna make you an all around better fisherman. Hey, if you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button and uh, drop a like if you like this style video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment down below. Leave a comment down below. Any other tips that you guys do this time of year and just something that you're doing while we're stuck inside in this uh, this time frame that we're going through. So hope you guys have a great day. God bless you. And we'll catch you in the next one.